Stan Jabalisco here. I'm going to show you uh, two different ways to wind an AC transformer core with the primary and the secondary coils. Now this particular type of core is usually called an E core because it looks like a capital letter E and then it has a bar that clamps on and forms what might better be called a theta core because it looks like the uppercase Greek letter theta but people probably wouldn't know what that meant but it makes more sense well anyway this uh, whole, all of this material is laminated iron for use at 50 or 60 Hertz alternating current uh, that you use to power your home appliances radios and other such things the two winding methods are called the core, the, the shell method, pardon me, in which both the primary and the secondary winding go around the center bar of the theta, right here, or the core winding method, in which the primary goes over the top of the theta and the secondary over the bottom. Uh, the advantage of the of the method right here, the so-called shell winding method, is better coupling between the primary and the secondary. The disadvantage is capacitance between the windings is quite high because they're basically one right on top of the other. Here you don't get quite as good of a coupling between the primary and the secondary, but you get in fact much less interelectrode capacitance and therefore uh, it's uh, applicable for applications where you don't want interelectrode capacitance. Another advantage is that of this method here is that it's very unlikely that arcing will occur between the primary and the secondary no matter how high the voltages get. But here there's a very definite limit to how high the voltage can get before arcing occurs between the windings and the insulation and the wire is destroyed it can damage the core and in the extreme case even set the whole assembly on fire <clears throat> when you see a transformer you see a much bulkier winding than anything shown here so this is greatly simplified this is laminated iron again which prevents eddy current losses from taking place in the core material. Make, makes the transformer more efficient in effect. These are probably the most common configurations although there are others. In some designs when you have the winding over the top and the bottom of the theta the center bar can be removed and you get in effect a C core which can also be called a U core if you tip it 90 degrees counterclockwise or a D core if you switch it the other way around then it eerily begins to resemble a toroid core all it would have to be is be circular and it would be a toroid but we haven't gotten there yet for whatever reason beats me Stan Jabalisco signing off those are the basics. Until next time, so long.